Friday. A little nippy cool Friday at that. I'm telling you, at the start of the week it wasn't that bad. And now you ended up with heated jackets and everything else. Some people 39 is not cold, but to me 39 is really cold. Mississippi is cold at 39 in my opinion. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Goodness, y'all got the socks ready to go, don't you? We do. We actually have some that's not even put up yet. Uh, We've sold three, four packs as of yesterday when we loaded Monday. We had just kind of, as you can see, they're just stuffed everywhere. Um, we have people <laughs> just coming over here, hey, I just want this whole pack. Just give me the whole. Man. I'm like, okay. Fella can't no find a pair of socks he likes there. Something's bad wrong. I'm telling you, the only thing that we get is we don't wear long socks. I want short socks. Well, yeah, short socks. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of everything at this point. I'm a little weird. I wear short socks until it gets to about 40, and then I want long socks. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I'm not gonna lie. If I if I'm wearing shorts, it's short socks. If I'm wearing pants, it's long socks. Because yeah. I'm wearing pants for a reason. Absolutely. <laughs> I used to wouldn't wear shorts, but now in the summer, I can't stand to wear pants anymore. It's just too hot and humid. Mississippi is humid, Bad. and it's just like you you're gonna sweat to death at that point. <laughs> but, you never know. Well, how's the life on the Matco truck treating you guys? It's going pretty good. Uh, we've sold a few boxes. Um, our big green in is gone. Yeah. So he, the guy got on here and he was looking at the hutch deal, but he's like, I just don't know if I need that big of a box. So Mike's like, okay, well, we'll run numbers. And he loved the green. Mm -hmm. The green wasn't an option on the 4S that with the hutch. So he's like, well, what about this one? And Michael gave him a deal and he's got it and ordering a hutch. So Holy cow. pretty nice. Well, I know you guys sell a lot of toolboxes. We do. It, it's all right. I like seeing the Maco logo everywhere <laughs> when you pull up. Yep. We've got a few customers. This is off subject of boxes, but uh, they buy the flags and they'll fly the flags at their shops. Now, right. these shops are personally owned shops, not like, you know, somewhere. Shop exactly. I'm not going to throw names, but we had one that actually did that and corporate come down and said, hey, look, you know, you can't fly somebody else's flag. And they're like, oh, well, we buy tools from them. And they're like, no, you, you still wow. can't. So, yeah. It was well. interesting. So now they wear our jackets. <laughs> they said, we're going to do it either way. I actually wore my Matco jacket last night. It's the first time I've had to get it out all year. A little, little cool yeah. last night. It is. So, I, funny joke, Michael made the comment that, you know, I buy stuff like for myself or whatever. And if I can sell it, I'm going to sell it. So this jacket right here it's cold i got my milwaukee one on this morning but it's kind of dirty because it our road silk just throw it out there this jacket is the thinner one right with a logo on the back right mm -hmm. this one's thicker with a hood off i had my medium one and only medium jacket because we normally get stuck with medium jackets i'm not gonna lie our, our guys are normally a little bit bigger so medium jackets don't you know i had mine on the guy comes on, he's probably chin high to me, little video fella. He's like, I want one of these. I said, okay. And he pulls out a large. Well, I said, try it on because I said, it's it's a little bit bigger. That thing swallows some whole. So I was like, well, I have a medium if you want to try it on. So I pulled my jacket off at this point and I said, here, just try it on because if it fits, right. you know, we'll see what we can get. And it fit him perfect. Okay. And he was like, I want this one. I said, I got to order it. He said, no, I'll take this one, cash money. And I'm like, it's yours. Well, there you go. Here you go. <laughs> so I had to pull me out a large yesterday to wear it around, but <laughs> I see where you guys went to the football game. Y'all had your uh We had, jacket. yes, these on. Uh, 
They're nice. Michael. People that don't live here, they don't realize that 39 is cold to us. For us, it's, it's cold. cold. Like, we're not accustomed. Just like if you're from up north and you come down here and yeah. it's and 80 degrees. 15 degrees well, in Yeah, that. July. It's, you're sitting there, oh my God, it's hot. Like, I'm, I'm dying. Like, you don't even know at this point. Absolutely. Yes. But our, we did have our jackets on Friday night. Uh, our daughter, that was our last playoff game. She's in the band. We go to watch the football and then watch halftime. Mm -hmm. That's that's why my mother-in-law has a shirt that says we're here for the halftime show, not the football game. Right. But uh, Michael loves watching it. We had them on, and we were kind of nervous about the battery going into the stadium because we were like, we don't know if they're going to metal detector exactly something like that so he's like don't have it on well as soon as i get out of the truck we had to park over at northeast which if y'all don't know where that's at you know there's mm -hmm. it's a good distance right. from the stadium so i cut mine on he before we walk up he said look you have to cut that off because it's a big red light on your shoulder so i cut it off don't think nothing about it well as soon as we pass the admissions uh He's got his own. I, said, I thought you said cut it off. He was like, no, it's, you know, it's cold. So <laughs> long story short, we get in there. They are people with space heaters yeah. walking around. And I was like, are you worried about a battery? Yeah. I said, they let them through with a daggone heater. <laughs> <That's> said, <laughs> but anyways, Milwaukee jackets are perfect for games like that. Uh, right now, honestly, I don't have mine on, but if I get out of the shop, I know it's going to be a minute. Our shops are cold. Like, oh, yeah. They do not. A lot of them do not have heat. You just have to bundle. So, yeah, that's why I'm wearing mine today. <laughs> oh, well, what cool new stuff y'all got? So, Michael was supposed to be here to show this, but bless his heart, he ended up having to get a SHOT, which he had to get a shot. Sorry, I got kids, so I had to spell out shot. <laughs> he was going to show this, but I'm going to show it because okay. it just come in. It's the new battery tester. So, it's really neat, it's got multiple languages. We have a bunch of shops that have, uh, they're bilingual. Mm -hmm. And I actually had to show somebody how to switch it over to Spanish. Right. Once you get it to Spanish, I ain't got a clue how to do it. You're so on your own. You're on your own at that point. But anyways, it does have, it looks like the historical data. So I guess it's where you can go back and look. Sure. Um, it's got a printer in it, That's which nice. apparently is super nice. Mm -hmm. uh, your guess is good as mine on that one. It is. Y'all work on them. I don't. I sell them. <laughs> uh, it's got retest. Uh, it's actually got a lithium ion test, which I guess is pretty neat. Does you have to explain that to me? Right. The is the we have gel batteries. So what's the difference? Well, there's the you know the old school batteries that take the the water that's in them yeah. or the acid, and you, you know, can kind of refill them. Then there's the gel batteries, which you have to charge and test on a different way. Gotcha. And then you have the new ones that are the lithium batteries. Okay, so like they're way more expensive. All right, so like the new vehicles that are coming out now, they do the. So it's good that it does that. See, oh look. Kind of one does it all. Exactly. Well, see, there you go. It does battery test, cranking test, charging test, reverse protection. I guess that's good, so you don't mess something up. They are color coded, red and black. Just to yeah. throw that out there, you know. <laughs> yeah. For those who have the jumper cables that are just one color, yeah. I've seen those. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Well, that's the way my my first set of jumper cables like they didn't have the red and black ends on it. So like it's got a piece of duct tape on the same one on each end, and you got to put the uh -huh. duct tape side on whichever one you want. It doesn't matter, but yeah. That was an adventure teaching the kids how to jump off a car or that. You know, you say that, but his uncle, now it's his, I guess it'd be his great uncle. He's in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Can do anything anybody else can do, right? Well, he was showing me how to jump off Michael's truck one time. Now, this is like a very long time ago. That's the kind that he had. Yeah. It was like, and I said, well, aren't they supposed to be like one red, one black, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm supposed to, no, he's like, look, you're going to have to make sure you put this one to this one. And I'm like, Yep. I'm supposed to get shot. <laughs> well, see, the sure pair that I, that I was given for my first, I still got them. And they're the best jumper cables I've ever had. They're made out of, like, the real copper that's the thick braid, you know. And like, Don't tell nobody they're that. They're long. Stable. They're, like, 20 foot long. And they are ungodly heavy. I, oh, yeah. I honestly believe they're made out of welding leads. Like my uncle, he made them, and then he gave me a set. He's like, you no. gotta keep these in your truck. 
that way. You'll always be able to jump it off. And, there you go. and they're long enough that you don't yeah, have to worry long. about they're long. They're at least 20 foot. So. Yeah, because now some batteries are on one side and some of them are on the other. It's fun to see the ones that, you know, they have. You open it up. Like our Tahoe, when we had it, it had a place on both sides for the battery. I'm right. like, wow. Can we not just stick all of it? Can it be mandatory, like, all on the same side? Well, what kills me when we first opened our shop, you know, most of the cars, everything's under the hood, yeah. you know, the batteries. I remember the first time we had a car come in here and the battery was in the trunk. Oh, you know, yeah. That was... The that was an interesting experience. I didn't realize that I'm green. I know when it comes to cars, Michael works on them. Mm. I kind of know a general sense. It surprised me the first time like that. They opened the hood and the big old batteries in the trunk. I'm like, I thought only Volkswagen stuff was in the trunk. Yeah. It is not. Mm -mm. Apparently nowadays. Like that definitely blew my mind. And then we had a couple of vehicles we worked on where it would be under, it would be an SUV and it'd be under the back seat. You know, oh. and that's, it's just so weird. Well, Michael, speaking of that, like just. But most of them do have a place under the hood still to jump. You know, it'll be, yeah. a, you know, connection point. Well, he was working on something. It's a Nissan Armada. Mm -hmm. It's an older Armada. Ar yeah, Armada, I think is how you say it. Anyways, he was working on that for his cousin. I did not realize that in the back, because it's a three row SUV, you open the passenger door, you can pick up the floor thing and get to the fuel pump. Oh, that's cool. I that way you don't have to know. drop the tank yes. when it goes out. That's so, cause he idea. had to replace the fuel, the, mm -hmm. the that, you know, I was talking about that long. Yeah. yeah, that thing. And I was like, I thought you had to like get underneath it, you know, drop mm. everything. He's like, no, he said, you don't pull this back undo it yep. and then there it is well i had to do it on a, um some of my family had a santa fe it was an older santa fe yeah. and the fuel pump was bad and you could actually it was the same way you could take an access panel out under the seat and be able to get to it which was really nice because like you know my old camaro you seen it the red one i got yeah like you have to drop the tank on it and then like that car set for a long time and I'd just crank it every now and then. Well, the fuel pump went out on it again and it probably didn't have 20 miles on it. Yeah. So I have to drop the tank, and replace it again, so. A whole another headache. Lovely. Okay. Every, it should be mandatory that every car has an access door. Something. To get I mean, to that fuel pump. And I, Cause it's, it's just, it's a lot of work. Yeah. We'll get sure. in the engineer <laughs> thing. Yeah. I'll open this up real quick. Well, the scan tool that we showed last week, or the code reader, that thing was well received by everybody. And everybody wants to know, will it do the electronic parking brake? And I know Michael was gonna check on that to see, but uh, that scan tool, I believe, is everybody's prayer answered right there with no yes. subscriptions and all that, so. Well, you know what's kind of funny is that that thing kind of went. I was supposed to hang on to it for a guy to demonstrate, and I ended up selling it. So yeah. I ended up having to order one like emergency, like, hey, I need one like right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think y'all better get a couple of them because they are really, really cool. Uh, and the size of them too. Like yeah. it's it's almost the same size, if I'm not mistaken, as our other one that we had the MD Max Light mm -hmm. A or something like that that has the subscriptions. Like I've oh. got two real scan tools but like i want one just for just everybody that wants to borrow my scan tool all the time because that drives me insane yeah so. we have uh it's kind of funny speaking of everybody wanting to borrow it we have ours let me see i'm gonna back you up just a little bit i don't know if michael still has it in here or not yeah there's ours yeah you know it has the big old box and everything mm -hmm. else we had a customer that wanted him to see if it would actually do what he wanted it to do, which it ended up doing it. But um, something about a alignment, getting it zeroed out. Don't I? I don't know. He <laughs> said, "Hey, is Michael on here with his scanner?" I said, "Yeah." So yeah. He goes to him. I can do a code test or whatever, but that's right. about as far in depth as I go. <laughs> well, but, you don't have to, and you got Michael. Exactly. Michael can fix anything. I know. Yeah. I, I holler at him all time he ended up having to fix his mom's stove the other night yeah yeah fun stuff all right so let me see because we're just bouncing back and forth that's all right because everybody has adhd nowadays <laughs> i like oh boy all right 
Michael does a really good job too of explaining the tools that he sells. Yes. Because like, he so, knows how to use everything on it, you know. That's why he should honestly be doing this one. So if it's still on here next week and he's on here, I'll get him to demonstrate <laughs> get it. Get a reboot. We'll get a reboot of all something, of this. Something oh, yeah. that's a It's Christmas. Better. Wrap yeah, our paper a, on a battery. That's a battery. Like We're gonna pretend for Christmas that, yeah, well, that didn't happen. So <laughs> you know, just act like that didn't happen. So pretty nice. Yep. Heavy duty little thing, and it even has a demonstrated that it does have a receipt right there. Look at that, boys! It comes with a pre-done receipt. Look, you just and for the people that ain't got a clue what to do, it has an instruction manual that y'all ain't ever gonna read. That's absolutely right. So, fellas, <laughs> if you want one of these, buy this kit and then wrap these, put these in a bag for your wife for Christmas because you see they look like little oh. Christmas. They look like they're wrapped for Christmas. They do. And they got a little, their own little pocket right there. That's it. And then oh, you can, just... when she don't know what to do with them, you can get them back. Exactly. Put she can your... re-gift them. <laughs> put them back in your tool. <laughs> exactly. But, yeah. Pretty nice system. I mean, like I yep. said, Michael's going to demonstrate it. I did not read over it that well before I got here. That's fine. Fun stuff, you know. <laughs> but we'll sell it to you. There you go. So just, you know, heads it's up. pretty simple. Like people that know how to test batteries, like they're going to appreciate the fact that they can tear that receipt off and walk in there and show their customer, hey, exactly. right here is the really what's going on with your battery. Especially the customers yep. that say, I don't believe you. Yep. Well, because it cranked my car fine yesterday, but exactly. this morning my battery's dead, so something must have been left on. Mm -hmm. That'll fix all that kind of stuff. And this cold weather right now will definitely do that. Like, Absolutely. In the, oh, well, it was fine. Yeah, well, it was like 70 degrees yesterday, too. <laughs> it's 30 today. You need to stock up on jump boxes because it's coming. Oh, yeah. We've actually sold a few of the Versa Pros, mm -hmm. uh, Versa Pro 3 and they've actually redone them. They have a blue streak down them now, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah, no no more burgundy. Wow, that's amazing. It is, ain't it? Making progress. <laughs> it is, but seeing our scanner back there made me think, so if I'm not mistaken, if you do, if you have the five, you actually have a wireless battery tester. Right, you just don't have the printer. You just don't have right. the printer, but it can connect to a printer. Your mm -hmm. scanner can connect to a printer, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Like I said, we'll ask Michael next week when there he's here. Easy we'll just enough. bombard him with questions. <laughs> so y'all just leave them all down there. For there you him. go. He'll read them. <laughs> he will. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us on this Friday. Hopefully you guys have an amazing weekend. Yeah. Like always. <laughs> thumbs up. Check over it for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great week.